In this video, we'll take a look at how to use the Picture in Picture tool. The Picture in Picture button, when you click it for the first time, it will bring up this options menu where you'll need to select Enable Picture in Picture mode and you can pick which camera you want to use. In order to use Picture in Picture mode, you need two cameras installed. So I've got one, which is my document camera, and I've got that selected as my main device, and then the Picture in Picture I'm going to use my webcam. I recommend using a low resolution for that because you don't need high resolution for your picture in picture window. And if you select it over 1280 by 720, probably your application will crash. Your computer probably just can't handle that much simultaneous video output from two cameras. If you have trouble using picture in picture, you might want to lower the resolution of your main camera to something smaller. Um, I have a pretty powerful computer, so it's able to handle 5 megapixel with picture in picture, but not all computers can. So I'm going to click Save, and you'll see the picture-in-picture -picture window will show up. There it is. So if I don't like the position where it's located, or I don't like the size, I can go back under Options, and I can change the picture-in-picture -picture settings. If I click the picture-in-picture -picture settings, I can say, well, I want to anchor it to the bottom of the screen, or the top right corner. I like it where it is over there in the top left, so I'm going to leave it there, and I'm going to make it just a little bit bigger. There's also an option here to show annotations over the inset video. If you want to be able to draw annotations on top of the picture-in-picture -picture window, you'll want to check that box. Okay, you'll also find out when you go to record and take snapshots that they include the picture-in-picture -picture window. So I'll click snapshot. And here you can see when I open this up, there I am in the top corner of my image. If I record, the same thing will happen. I'll click the record button. Alright, we're here in a picture in picture window. I can demonstrate under the camera. I can look at the different parts and place them in. One reason people use the picture in picture mode is there's research which shows that students do a better job of paying attention to recorded content if their instructor is looking at them and talking to them while they're watching it. So if you're able to use a webcam to record yourself while you're making flipped content for your classroom, it's a great way to keep students engaged. When you finish, click the Done button and you'll find your video recording here in the sidebar. I'm going to click it to play it. There you can see the video I just recorded and the picture-in-picture -picture is frame is included inside the main frame. To turn picture-in-picture -picture mode off, just click the picture-in-picture -picture mode again and you'll go away. Alright, it's as simple as that. It's a very nice tool, especially if you're trying to make flipped content for your classroom.